This is gonna sting. Ouch. <laughs> Oh! Oh my god! Oh! How do you like that, my good sir? Well! Well! Oof! Oh my gosh! It's been so long since I've made a dragon deck, and this one is going to be a blast. We got some new new stuff to play with here. Now, I know you see a Galta. That's not a dragon deck. Well, it makes it fun when you have Terror of the Peaks in your build. Let's just break down the deck really quick, and I'm going to show you some other dragons where you could use, you know, um, uh, in the deck as well. Two Shocks. That's right. Got to have removal. Same with the Lava Coils. Four Alana War Elves. You got to have the ramp, guys, and Lonnie's the best in ramp. That's really the reason we're going green. Then we have Lightning Strikes uh, times two. Lava Coil is going to be able to uh, exile something, which is really important, you know, and it does four. So if we go up against a mirror match against, like, Skarg and Hellkite, we can actually, or not Skarg and Hellkite, against Terror of the Peaks, we can actually deal with their uh, their dragon and get rid of it. Lightning Strike, uh, Sarkhan, Fireblood, this is very essential in the build when um, we're ramping up into our multicolor dragons uh, down below. We'll get to in just a minute. But also the discard and draw is pretty cool. Now, um, and also, if you can ultimate it, which I think we do once or twice in the video, uh, good game, you know. Dragon's Horde, it's uh, it's almost a must-have in any dragon deck that wants to go the distance. There's there's different ways you can build the dragon deck. One is hasty, and you just get up in there, you deal your damage, and you get out and run away, you know. And one example of a newer card that was printed is Lightning uh, uh, Shrieker, you know. It's a 5-5 five, five dragon, and it's flying, trample, and haste. you got to sack it at the end of the end step, though. But that's one way, you know. You can just get in there with your damage right away if you're going that route with hasty dragons and stuff and really kick some butt. But that's not the route we're going to go with this deck. Uh, Demanding Dragon is pretty sweet as well. Um, with this build, we are going to go, like, kind of not slow and steady, but steady, you know, steady that wins the race. Not slow and steady, but steady. Then we have uh, Opportunistic Dragon, which is great. It catches so many people off guard because it steals artifacts from them and it steals humans from them. Pretty ridiculous, man. It, uh, it goes a long way. They just don't see it come. They're like, what? What? You know, you just take their stuff from them. The only downside is you can't really do much with it. It just kind of sits there. You know, until Opportunistic Dragon goes away. So it's almost like they're in temporary exile, you know. Varix Bladewing, I only ran two copies because it's a legendary. But, uh, yeah, the the kicker part, you get two 4-4 four, four dragons, which that combos great with Terror of the Peaks. Skarg and Hellkite. Uh, Skarg and Hellkite. Uh, I like the four on it where you can deal two damage divided as you choose among any one or two targets. But you got to have a plus one, plus one counter on it for that to work. So, I mean, something like the Great Henge would come in handy with that. Or you can just do it when it comes out because it has Riot. But the majority of the time, we want to give this puppy haste, you know. Then we have Terror of the Peaks, which is just phenomenal. If it's targeted, opponent has to pay three extra life. Uh, whenever an another creature enters a battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. That's correct. So when we have something like Lathless hit, it would be dealing six damage to any target. If we have the Great Henge out, it's going to be seven damage because it gets the plus one. Then we have stuff like uh, the Victus Asmati, uh, the Dire, which is just a lot of fun. This thing basically gets like a, um, uh, they have to sacrifice permanence and stuff when uh, when we're swinging in with it. It's really, really cool. A lot of fun to play with. Only a six drop, not too bad. But it can close out a game rather quickly, and then you're also putting a permanent card from the top uh, of the library onto the battlefield. Remember, we have big boys in deck. So our big boys are going to hit where they might just get a one drop or a two drop. We're going to get like a six or seven drop that's going to slaughter, you know. Then I'm running Palladia Mars the Ruiner. Uh, flying Vigilance and Trample. And as long as it hasn't dealt damage yet, it has Hexproof. So it's basically like you're going to get in for six damage. Almost guaranteed, you know, unless they have another way to deal with it other than targeting it, which, of course, there are ways to do. But um, almost always guaranteed six damage, maybe seven with a Great Henge out. Then we have the Reincarnated. I really like this one. It's got Flying Trample and Haste. This is our big Punisher. If we got something like Terror the Peaks out and then uh, Deragaz hits the field, it is, bam, that's seven damage. If we got Great Henge out, it's eight damage right to the face, plus it's swinging in for another eight on top of it. Like, it's like, whoa, or seven, you know, whatever. Uh, but just really nasty. And it comes back after three turns with the egg counters on it. Pretty legit. 
Great hands, so we can ramp, gain life, draw cards, uh, put plus one, plus ones on stuff, all types of shenanigans. And then Galta Primal Hunger, one copy, because that's 12 damage if we have out our Terror of the Peaks. So there you go. Nine mountains, five forests, four rootbound crags, four stomping grounds, two blast zones. You could have went with like Field of the Ruin to take out something for Field of the Dead decks. Um, something else I just want to show you guys, Dragon Master Outcast. Really cool card, but I think... It, it, it wants to run something like Cultivate if you're going to go that route. I don't. This doesn't even have to be in a Dragon build, uh, Dragon Master Outcast. Just anything that ramps up really quick with lands hitting the field is where you'd want to use Dragon Master Outcast. And since we're only running 24 lands in this build, I didn't think it was the right route to take. So we did not go with that. Um, some other options you can use are like Scorching Dragon Fire to deal with exiling things. Whoops, how did we get here? How did we get here? So I'm going to show you some other dragons before we get into the gameplay. Dragon Lord Servant. The problem with this card is it's a 1-3. Yeah, it reduces cost by 1. I don't really care for it. I like that it reduces the casting cost by 1. That That's something. But it's just dead late game, you know? And it's, it's kind of like running an additional Lana War Elves almost. Kinda. It's a little more meaty, you know, with three toughness, but you could go this route as well. I just, if it, if it said it was a creature dragon goblin shaman, I definitely would run it in my build because of our dragon sword, but it's not. So I did not include that, but that is a budget-friendly option you can go if you don't have maybe, I don't know, the, your, um, where's he at? If you don't have Sarkhan, you can go with something like that, but I'm not a huge fan. And then we have little dragon hatchlings and things like that. Uh, speedy little things, dragon egg over here. This actually does help, you know, um, if you want to go a smaller dragon route deck um, where you can just get a bunch of triggers off your dragon's horde. But then this kind of stuff is not so great if you don't have a dragon's horde on the field. So keep that in mind as well. Deck has to sustain all together, not just with one piece. Uh, Gadrak's not going to fit in this build. Um, it's a three drop dragon. It's kind of cool, I mean, but it doesn't really go so well. Uh, in the deck. This, I could not put myself to run this. I'd rather run Sarkhan, Fireblood, and Dragon's Horde and Alana War over any copies of this. Reducing the casting cost by two is phenomenal, especially if you had like the other one, you reduce by one, and then this, bam, by two. That's three less to cast your dragon spells. Wow, you can drop a lot of dragons, but man, a lot of stuff takes the shaman out. That's three mana invested on a ramp spell that's just going to go boom, you know, and most likely die quick to removal. So that's why I did not run it. A shock takes that along with like, like 20, 30 other spells. Another card you could run, arguably, is Spitflame. I did not run any in this build. It's great with dragon decks. However, it's three mana to play. That's the only reason I didn't run it. You could really run two copies of this in your deck, but I wanted to get removal and I wanted it to be two or less so I could really deal with my opponents quick. But this dragon, um, dra I don't want to say dragon spell, Spit Flame's cool because you just got to pay one. You can return it back to your hand and then play it again. Um, not bad. Um, yeah, very Blade Wings up in the build. Some other stuff um, along the way. Uh, Demanding Dragon is another good alternative you can run in this build. And um, what else do we have here that I would consider? You could even go an additional Lathless. I did not. Drac uh, Dracuseth or Dracuseth, I left him out of the build because I wanted to really play with dragons. You guys don't see played with very often, and that's these three big bad boys. And we're going to have some fun with them for sure. So that's why he's not in the build, but he's not bad. I would just, in a 7-drop, I'd rather have this uh, for sure 100 billion times it has a haste over this that's a big investment that could just die right away at least i'm going to get some damage in hopefully we you know with Daragaz. um anyway those are all the big uh creatures to mention there i did not run chromium the mutable um we we wouldn't be it'd be really difficult for us to be able to cast him we'd have to have out sarkhan's fire blood um and we'd have to have out our dragon's horde in order to get out chromium so that was not really a choice no point to run uh, this guy either uh, Blade Wing Arisen, there's really no point to run this either. Uh, return target Dragon Permacar from your Graver of the Battlefield, it's cool, but again, we'd have to have, um, I mean, you, I guess you could run it, but it's a 7-drop. I've played with it before. This is actually kind of cool in, like, the Brawl format, but not so much if you're trying to somewhat be competitive, you know. 
um, and historic. So I didn't run with that. Uh, Nicole Bullis, kind of same story. You couldn't really do much with that either just because of the other, um, you know, the XL Nicole Bolas part and all that. Could be cool. It's a great dragon. Bolas is just nasty, but not in the build. Um, what else do we have here? Arcades, no point to run this because it doesn't really work in this kind of strategy whatsoever. Uh, and that's it. There's all our dragon cards for you guys. All right, let's get up into some gameplay. Sorry for that long intro, but enjoy the games. Skadoosh. I've seen worse dealings. See what happens. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to let that stick around. Sorry, pal. I'm gonna get in for one. All right. Oh, it's the Benelish. He's not gonna like when we steal his Benelish, is he? No, he's not. <clears throat> Probably shocked the Vanguard. Well, it depends if he drops something else. Uh, we have to. Ooh, you almost want to. But you just can't. Alright. Get over here! Thank you, sir. Uh, I guess we could go with our Lonnie here as well. I got a feeling this is going to be taken out. No, just a, just a company. Just a company. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can get Terra down. Yeah, we'll get Terra down. And that allows us um, to draw a card here too, which is pretty legit. That's why we tapped Lonnie. I mean, Varix should, ra if we top deck a land, that's basically game. See what happens. Oh, opponent, do you know? Three's company, too. Anybody? Jack Tripper, you, you stud. Opponent has very little interaction. It may cost him everything. You almost want to like throw a witch's oven in, just to, uh, you know, kill off these humans. Opponent, I believe, timed out, walked away, said, um, "That's enough, Joey Moss. Thank you." Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. Oh my goodness. Triggers for days, baby. Right to the face. Ooh, right to the face. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Beautifully executed. Could not have done it or said it to any better myself. Boy, I did just say that myself. Let's 
silver sliver. Hello. Alright, we do have up our lightning strike. Ooh, I see, I see. You have to die, Batman. Someone's like, that's, that's a druid, Joey. You know that, right? Yeah, Bill. All right, now we're cooking. One more land, please. Amazing. Oh gosh. That's going to be fun to deal with. Great hands, you are getting dropped the moment we we are capable of doing such things. That tickles. You can drop it again and again and again. Oh, crapper trappers. Well, that's pretty cool. He's gonna like that. Hex proof itches. Noise. Noise. This isn't going to do us any good besides give us a counter. We need to take this out. Yahtzee. Swing it on in, baby. He has dealt damage. This is true. Lost his hex proof. Could have pumped him up and got crazy with him, but. All right, if he drops another uh, Chupacabra, we could be facing utter defeat. Nothing. He can tap him down. That's true. One, two, three, four, five. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Sarkin creeps up on you quick. Watch out for my creep, bro. Maybe we swing first. Nothing's gonna change here. That happens. now oh thank you baby Multani you dirty little s punk <laughs> uh, t -t 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 we'll go black and we go all red sup with you bro Oops. Okay, but the seven seven. I was like, it should be seven seven, right? Who doggy? Good game, my friend. Good game. That looks pretty sharp. Two dragons hordes. 
As much as I'd like that. Like, that's the ideal scenario is a Lana War, a Dragon Horde, uh, opening hand, really. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's good enough with, with me. And then a turn four drag, or a, uh, a four drop or five drop. I like those lands. The art is pretty. Okay, goodbye, Rampy. Magma Jet. Two damage to any target. Scrying two. Not bad. All right. Just plussing up. We may be low on stuff, but we're not low enough. Plays planes. The beams of light radiate down. Do not do that again. I'm warning you. Thank you. Give me a sweet looking dragon. A dragon of the sweet sauce. Give me dragon of the sweet sauce. Uh, yeah, terror it is. Shrink. Could play Lani as well here, but we don't need to. We're going to uh, use Dragon Horde here. Hmm. Not really helping right now. Roots bound. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That'll do. Shwink. I summon you. Looking dirty. Do we go plus one, plus one? You might have a wipe here. We should probably just get in right now when we can, huh? For sure. All right, down to seven. If he just wipes us and then we top tech, what's it, what's his name? Um, is it Evictus? Asmadi? With the haste right to his face? That'd be epic. Ah, oh, I thought he was in a board wipe. Okay, ah, oh, we didn't get what we wanted. But we can draw it still, baby. Ah. Oh. Hmm, rough keep. Another shock's not bad, though. Okie dokie. Opponent's a little too quiet over there. Counter boy. No counter boy. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh. I see. That stinks. That's a bummer. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Especially since we are on no play right now, somehow. Ended up with both our great henges in our hand. Two of them, at least. This is really silly to just shock that, but we will. Maybe he needs double green. Who knows? Whoa, this guy's... Oh my gosh, the third one shows up. 
Why? Why do you do that to me, wizards? Why do you do that? Of course we'd get the third grade hench in the hand. We need another grade hench. Everybody knows that. At least we're still in this, baby. What do you do again? Okay, yeah, you gotta die. <laughs> hey, you're a problem, pal. Especially when uh, this is sitting right there on top. Muldroth. No thanks. Wow. Wow, we can't even cast it because we hit none of our stuff that allows us to play you. When things do not go as planned, holy smokes. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my gosh, I, we're, wow. Bert, Bert, good job. You're the reigning champ. <laughs> Talk about never getting our, our, our feet in the water. Mm -hmm. Well, boys, that's how it goes sometimes. That's that's how it goes sometimes. Now watch, they're gonna give me exactly what I need this last one. They're like, ah, I think I think he think he lost. I think he lost. <sighs> it's a bittersweet symphony. That's magic. No. Yep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> All right, it's looking like a turn three Sarkan Firebird. Paradise Druid. You don't say. I guess it doesn't matter here. Two terrors is looking nice. So he's running some graveyard shenanigans, I'm gonna assume. Leyline Prowler. Where's my removal? Does not attack. Whoa. Interesting play, my friend. Interesting play. If we plus up, it's not enough. So we gotta right now just at least play you. Alright. That's our big play right there. Lonnie's showing up a bit late to the party. Oh my god, Lonnie. Whoa, can we chill with that, that stuff? Why is he not attacking? What is this guy's deal? Uh, I mean, I really like Sarkin. But I feel we'll just lose him, so I'm going to go at Terror. Odds are opponent does have removal for that. He has four mana up right now. He plays nothing. What? Oh, what is this guy's deal? He has seven, eight mana. Eight manas, guys. Eight manas. John Denver, what do you got? Whoa, that's a cool card. Well, such is life. I guess that's one way to take out Terror of the Peace. <laughs> Another Lani. <sighs> I really want to get you cooking, pal. Yes, it would have been much better to go Terror first. And then Barracks the next turn. But I think we'll be okay. 
This way, if he does have more removal, we don't lose our terror. Oh, he might not have the removal. It's not looking like he do. Very low to the ground, ball around a budget. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Okay. Come to me. Come to me. Too bad that doesn't affect Galta, huh? Would be pretty neato if it did, oh, yeddo. Yeddo. We can play you now. And that'll just take care of Knight over here. Skink. Whoa! Amazing. Hmm. I see. 17. Galta, if only you had haste coming in, huh? This guy is in his endless slew of Falmir Knights. What are you... What? I want to see his payoff. He's got to have something major, right? I mean, this, this boy's a ramping fool into nothing. He ramped into a gifted Aetherborn. I've seen it all. Galta's really going to hurt. I guess... Wait, you have Reach. Anything else have Reach? I guess it's game. I fear no pain. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we can just play. Well, let's do it the safe way. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> it's not nice what you do to people. Okay, so we just do that. Yes, uh, we go this route. Uh, we go that. <laughs> yeah. We get the trigger, we just ping him. Galta. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this allows us to protect Sarkhan. Whoa, a vessel. Oh, hello, Varagaz reincarnated. Opponent's getting a lot of life here. Whoa, he did not hit. I'm assuming he did not hit. Uh, yeah, we want to get Dragon Horde down, even though it's going to slow us down a lot, but it's fine by me, friends. We shall discard a mountain. Terror. Okie doke. We're getting closer and closer to being able to play this. Hello, dear. Hi, dear. How's Jaxie-poo? Good, are you recording? Yeah. Wait, when we get the chance, I just want to get the stroller and go. Okay. Bye, Here, I'll give you the keys right now. Let me pause it really quick. Okay, where were we? I know where we were. We were right around here. Shwink. So we need black. Are you ready? Shwink. Hatch out. That's a big boy. Ooh, daddy O. Ah. Well, we gotta land. <laughs> uh, but he comes back though. Yeah, he, he comes back in time, in time, and he'll be a big payday. He will. He will. He will. Uh, opponent, you're gonna be in trouble here. I will call the We're gonna go with uh, Terror. Mm -hmm. 
more draw. Mm, one, two, three, four. No. Uh, I guess we could put. No, it doesn't really matter. Let's just do this really quick. Another land, you don't say. All right, we're, I mean, he's got a lot of cards in hand, and we were pretty uh, slow with what we drew here. Oh, gosh, guys. That's a cool enchantment, boy. Shrink. Oh, Rootbound Crag. Um, no. We have to decline. Well, actually, I'll auto pay. What was I thinking? We, we cannot allow that. Okay, this is going to sting. Ouch. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh, how do you like that, my good sir? Well. Well. Oof. Oh my gosh. That was just too much. You can't leave Sarkan chilling, baby. That's a lot of red mana. Cannot keep. Ugh. All right. Down you go. Sweet sleeves, brother. Vicious rumors, hot diggity darns. Oh, uh, that's that's a. Uh, that wasn't very nice. Well, you see, Bob, we're going to take out our mountain. Yeah, because we, we have a decent amount of ramp, so that's not helping. All right, we do have Lightning Strike. Crap. We'll probably take out a terror, but I mean, if you look at it, we're far away from casting anything. Takes out a terror. Nice. Oh, uh, Lonnie, something though. Let's get that land, baby, and then we're right back in business. Sweet lands. How do you get those lands? Do I have those lands? Oh. That's pretty brutal, man. That's a pretty brutal move. Got our land, though. That's cool. Schwink? Doesn't do much right now. But at least we have him on the field. He emptied our entire hand. Notice. But a lot of his cards um, might just be discard stuff. So He has to be running removal as well. But you never know. Ooh, cool card. Stamping ground, you don't say. Oh, she's a human too. So he knew what we had, otherwise, yeah. It would have been nice if we would have dropped that first. I'll play you. Disinformation campaign. We're gonna blow your crap up, bros. Wow, another land, you don't say. All right, down to 13, just slowly picking away at him. Empty-handed. Makes me hurt. Opponent. Well, what do you got? Nothing? Wow. 
That's pretty brutal. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's pretty brutal. He's probably got removal right here. I'm just curious to see what he drops. He has to have something else. Because he's hesitant to play anything. What a rascal. Well, that could actually hurt him. Because now we're just going to steal his awakener. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pants turn. Okay. And now what do we have? He's got four mana. Atrada. It's pretty cool. That's a it's a three five guys three five. Oof. Wow! Did we just draw every freaking land or what? Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that is that's pretty terrible. Um Let's see if he plays anything. Any three drop really. Play this. You know you want to. <laughs> I mean, right now, we haven't really had a reason to, to use our Blast Zone yet. Oh, that's a big boy. That's going to be a big boy, yeah. Maybe I should have swung first, eh? Why would you not attack with a Trotta? I'm trying to understand the logic behind our opponent. Oh, there's some cool stuff. But my friend, you weren't anticipating this. <laughs> Ooh, goodbye, all your permanents. Well, three of them at least. In for five. Or in for four. Ooh. Good game. GG's. I tried, to, I tried making that work. It just doesn't. That's some heat, but no way to get it up in the air. There we go. A little bit better. Come back to us. Your Diego. Mm. Hello. Hello, Diego. Nice. Daxos. No, 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 no. Okay, we do got Lonnie. Doesn't really help too much. Get Dragon's Horde next turn. Uh, hope for no XL for Terror of the Peaks. Oh, it's an angel. Hot out. Alright. No attack. All right, Terror of the Peaks is online, as long as Elves remains here. And that'll uh, get us some card draw as well. If I have an Angel build, I should probably run, I should probably play it. It's not bad. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's all right. I can make it better, I guess. There's always room for improvement. Remember that. Two angels, son of a biscuit. I mean, you may attack if you'd like. Ah, yes, there you go. All right, um, we definitely need to get Terror down, though. As much as I like to get Sarkhan right now, we wouldn't be able to protect them. He would just die instantly, so. Now, opponent has, uh, he's in quite the predicament because Yotigo, my friend, he needs these angels to be 4-4s. Four Otherwise, uh, my peaks is going to 
I think I have top ears. Yes. Oh, did he get a uh, mana after the A? That happens. It happens to me too many times. Passes. Ouch. I guess a second terror would really scare him. Hello, friend. Pink. Go give him protection. Doesn't that have? Sweet. And that opens up the window for us to swing in. However, he could give it, like, I thought about not attacking. Could give it plus two, plus two or something. Ah, the old seal away, governor. Nothing like the old seal away. I didn't even see it coming. All right, we should have played Sarkhan and then got up to where we can just go with Blade Wing and swing all in. Now, with him running a seal away, odds of him mainboarding Settler Wreckage is a good possibility. Ooh. Aren't you a human? You're a god. Are you a human? An angel. Are you a... Okay. Well, there's that. I guess we can go uh, Sarkhan here. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Sarkhan's cool. Discard Line of War, I guess. I don't need this. I need this. We've got our land. Wonderful. Uh, we have to protect Sarkhan, though, so we cannot swing in. This next turn should be pretty big. Our next big play, baby. If only we had two terrors out. See that glitch? It's fun, huh? Who pacifies stuff? You guys are a rascal. All right. Terror rendered useless here. Um. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we have enough if we uh, just chump with Lonnie here. Pink. You call that a and then we can tear into him with uh, Varix. It's made him bigger. Yeah, I think we just want to really just punish him. Do that now, whatever. Oh, yes! I think we just closed out the game. Unless he has a board wipe. I don't know why he'd have a board wipe, though, with all this life gain like that. This doesn't make sense. Oh, my gosh, noise. You have to gain life, though, don't you? Yeah, that could be pretty crazy. All right, for sure, we want to go Great Henge. I summon you. Oh, boom. This is going to hurt, my friend. Plus one, plus one. Just to be safe, guys. Just to be safe. Ooh, it's gonna hurt. No! Oh! Got him. Hmm, rough keep. Another shock's not bad, though. Okay. 
it's a little too quiet over there. Counter boy. No counter boy. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh. I see. That stinks. That's a bummer. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Especially since we're on no play right now, somehow. Ended up with both our great henges in our hand. Two of them, at least. This is really silly to just shock that, but we will. Maybe he needs double green. Who knows? Whoa, this guy's... Oh my gosh, the third one shows up. Why? Why do you do that to me, wizards? Why do you do that? Of course we'd get the third grade hench in the hand. We need another grade hench. Everybody knows that. At least we're still in this, baby. What do you do again? Okay, yeah, you gotta die. <laughs> You're a problem, pal. Especially when uh, this is sitting right there on top. Muldroth. No thanks. Wow. Wow. We can't even cast it because we hit none of our stuff that allows us to play you. When things do not go as planned, holy smokes. This is so bad. Oh my gosh. I, we're, wow. Bert, Bert, good job. You're the reigning champ. <laughs> Talk about never getting our, our, our feet in the water. Hmm? Well, boys, that's how it goes sometimes. That's that's how it goes sometimes. Now watch, they're gonna give me exactly what I need this last one. They're like, ah, I think I think he think he lost. I think he lost. <sighs> it's a bittersweet symphony. That's magic. This could be a match we lose. Really, it wasn't worth paying the two life for Lana War here. I mean, unless we get a turn. Yeah, we didn't hit it. We would have needed a, a nice little turn, turn two play for like a three drop for me to be like, oh, that was a good play. Waste not. He's going to make me discard things. Oh, no. All right, that being said, let's go into action. Here comes this card. I kind of feel we should keep you. No, we got, we got a lava coil, we're cool. Dragon's Horde. Ooh, we should really get into that, though. But if he makes us discard two cards, we could easily lose fast. Yeah, we could. So we just have to play Terror. We can't go to Dragon Horde. Because, yeah, we can't discard both Lava Coil and Peaks if it was discard two. Doesn't have it. Okay. Not exactly how I want it to play out, but all right. Down to six, he needs something massive. This deck is missing like a damnation, really. Like they need a, a massive board wipe. I know they got the one that exiles um, certain colors or certain uh, What's it called? Oh, that's game. Certain uh, 
converted mana cost, whether it's even or it's odd, but it really needs something else, you know? I, I played around with the, the deck, but it's like one of those against the odds on Goldfish, you know, that you'd see. Um, it's just not there, even with uh, the new uh, discard card. Anyway, um, Tiny Bones, even with him, it's just not there. I built it already, tried it out. Not so, not so much, guys. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the deck right there. Um, it is fun. It is fun. A lot of craziness. I just like playing with these bigger dragons. You know, you could even argue going down to maybe two great henges. Um, Galta's just kind of there for the memes because it's a big punch in the face when you get him out. Uh, yeah, some shocks, lava coil strikes. It, it, it works pretty good. Um, overall, I believe I played total of 12, no, more than that. I played last night when I was on my laptop in bed. I probably played about 18 matches overall and won about 13, so that's not bad. But we're also not in rank, so do keep that in mind. Um, I, during that time, I made minor little changes and adjustments, but the last, all the games you see in this one, I basically stuck to this right here. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming, Skadings, Skadings, leave a like, hooray, skadoosh. Uh.